What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be streaming some Pokemon trading card game online this morning, and I'm excited. Uh, standard format's been a lot of fun lately. Lightning decks are really good. Some of my favorite decks to play, so, like, that's nice. Uh, popped in on Danny Altavila's stream last night for a little bit and was watching him. He's doing a really good job, so shout out to Danny. Uh, Dax PTCG or something like that. Dax PTC. Something like that uh, on uh, Twitch. But anyways, he's doing a great job, so that was awesome. Uh, getting to see him, and he was talking about lightning decks a little bit and, and was comparing them to where Buzzrock was last year. And I feel like that's probably a pretty fair and similar comparison. Like, yeah, they are really strong. Uh, they probably are just, like, the best decks in format, however you want to build it, right? Uh, we got bodied by a V-Gray deck on stream yesterday. We had a nice little win streak going, but then we just got absolutely annihilated by V-Gray. So V-Gray might be where we start this morning, just trying to see if that's like a real deck. I don't necessarily think so, but hey, we're going to give it a shot and we're not going to count it out you know, until maybe I play a little bit more with it. So that might be something we do. Also, Orderom, one of my favorite decks right now, probably my favorite deck is... Uh, Pikachu, Zekrom, Tag Team, GX with the Order Pad Engine. I really love this deck. What's up, E-Parks? Natalie and David Allen. Yo, welcome, welcome. We also got uh, Pedro's Zapdos list that he won the special event with. Another uh, option for us this morning. And then, of course, we do have some things like uh, Charizard. You know, we could play a little Blacephalon. Uh, we could play Donald's Venusaur deck, dude. Donald's. Shining Genesect deck. Uh, Dark Integral makes, like, the craziest decks work. Like, I just, like, watch him play, and I'm like, how are you getting all these pieces to work together, my man? The man is a magician. I don't know how he does it, but he is a genius for sure, for sure. So his list, super fun as well. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us. Let's get it rocking here. I'm going to give away a couple codes, and then we're going to just hop right in with some gameplay Thank you so much, Zach. Good morning with the 300 bits. Thank you so much, Zach, for your support, my man. And hopefully you are having a great day up there in polar bear country, dude. Hope all is well, man. Been a few days, so nice to hear from you again. Let's get it rolling. What's up, Tanish, everybody in the chat? Welcome back, Tanish. It's been a few days as well. Uh, you said you were finishing up with school or finals or something like that. You've been very busy, so. Oh, let's get going. So, I went to, uh, over the weekend, I went to a cup. Many of you guys may know I went to a cup and won, so that was great. I won with Pikachu Zekrom order pad, so that was a lot of fun. And then I also went to a, uh, a thrift store, all right, with uh, my friend Aaron who works here at Full Grip Games as well. And it was a lot of fun. We, it was like a, a sale, right? So there was a sale at this thrift store. And the way the sale works is that they had all their sale items just like laid out and it was a fill a bag sale. So you get like a bag and then it was $10 and you just fill the bag with as much stuff as you want. And it's like a re-thrift store. So like the store, like the guy who owns the store, like, shops at other thrift stores at Goodwills and picks out all the good stuff, right? So it's just like kind of the best of thrifting. But anyways, I think thrifting is like a lot of fun. So I went with Aaron, we waited in the line. There was a line for this. There was like a hundred people in line for this sale. So we were like in the first wave to go in and it was awesome. And check out the shirt that I got. It is a Little Mermaid shirt. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I think that is very cool. Anyways. Little Mermaid shirt. It's got Ariel on it, and I think it's very fun. Oh, what's up? What we got? Oh, thank you so much, Zach, for gifting Tanisha a sub back. Oh, Tanisha, he's back in the house. What's up? Thank you so much. Busted. Somebody had to do it. Tanish, my favorite fan from India. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Zach, for uh, gifting my man Tanish back a sub. And Doopop, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Doopop. Y'all are awesome. Making this Tuesday morning stream start off right. Let's get it popping here. We've got a mysterious treasure. Now what are we going to get? That is the question. I think we probably just get Rayquaza. 
and just like smacking energy into play here uh, with the quickness. Yo, let's just do it. Don't care. Fine. Yeah, we lost a Guzman. We lost a Marshadow. It's all good. They had to go for the uh, betterment of this game. And here we go. Look at Tanish has got himself a Weavile badge, dude. Tanish, this is the third month he's been gifted. Excellent. All right. Hmm. All right, check this out. So we can go Nest Ball. Hmm. Hmm. I think next turn is the turn I pop off. I go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to necessarily get the Ray out or the uh, the Pikachu Zekrom out right now because I don't want my opponent to Guzma it. I don't want to put the Viridian down for them either. But, like, there's a couple things I want to do, and I think I have to wait till next turn to do them. So I think I'm just going to pass here. Like, I'm cool on it. I could probably... Honestly, Nest Ball and get like the Zara Aura, like that's gonna be helpful, sure. But other than that, like next turn, Talentless Creep. Aw, why you have to be so hard on yourself? I'm sure you're very, very talented, Mr. Creep. But thank you so much for the sub, dude. And Riled Wild with the Twitch Prime sub. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for the support this morning and for making this stream. Super dope. Thank you guys so much. Morning Crew is lit. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm in the Morning Crew now. Well, welcome. Yes, the Morning Squad is like, this is my favorite time to stream, honestly. People at work, people chilling, people at school, me at work. We're all just hanging out, living our best lives here in the AM. I know, morning workouts. Dude, the morning is my favorite time to work out as well. Yes, Team Dead, we will get some Vika Ray in today. I'm just playing my warm-up game with my favorite deck. So, let's see. Double E-Switch, Viridian Forest. Okay. We've got to probably... We're like... Hmm. Okay. Do we think that my, my opponent's got Lycan Rock too? This is sketch. All right. I think we go Ultra Ball away, the Energy Switch, and the Lightning. Yeah. For this man. Right? Like something like this. It's, I don't know. Like I probably should have. Giving him the Viridian actually in hindsight is horrible, and I should have kept the other Energy Switch. Hmm and just gone for the lightning off this. Cause giving him access to that Viridian is actually gonna be like devastating. So I can't really do that, so I'm not going to. Saint Hem, thank you so much. Oh, and sure enough, I got it back, but it doesn't matter because I get Tapu Coco. Thank you, Saint Hem, for that. Twitch Prime sub, man, it is rocking this morning. This is amazing. Uh, okay, so I can attach for turn here. I can blow you up. And we're going here. So I've got the full blitz. Now we can, I'm going to blow that electro power and we're going to let loose. Yeah. Come on. Get it, get it. All right. Now, <sighs> okay. Do I, yeah, I know you're sad. I know you're salty. Yep, not sorry though. Let's go, let's go. Man, my wishful baton is prized. Why is the baton prized? I wanted the baton, that's what I want. The wishful baton, and <laughs> we toss it on the active, and then we just safe. Um, okay, we're gonna grab an energy switch with that. Man. It's really cramping my cramping my jams over here. It's fine. We're gonna retreat. And we've just we've got it like that. Yup. Full blitz. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, this is my <laughs> no baton passing. This is not a four by eight, bro. I totally ran the four by eight in high school. That was like one of my favorite. 
events for sure. The 4x8 and the 4x4, Drapper Draby. Uh, yes, I also, few may know that I have a uh, an NCAA National Championship in the distance medley relay, indoors. Division three, okay, so it's not that cool, but still. Uh, and I did run the 800 leg of that uh, of that championship team because uh, that was my my best event. So yeah, this is turn two, okay, just saying, turn two. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energy on board, turn two, after the end of turn two. Absolutely insane. In fact, we had five energy on board, uh, you know, before the full blitz, which is nuts, right? Absolutely nuts. So, I, uh, this is the, this is why I don't think that the fighting variants of Zapdos are very good. Personally, like, he might still beat me. I'm going to go ahead and, like, put that out there. He might still win, but my goal here is to just go and, like, tag bolt, right? And if I could just tag bolt, then I skip around his sledgehammer turn. Granted, we are just, like, walking right into a potential, like, Tapu Koko GX, but, like, look, he ain't have it like that. He didn't have it like that. Why? Because this deck isn't nearly as consistent as this deck. That's just the way it is. Boom! Erica's. All right, let's get it. Dude, we are about to tag bolt this fool right there. All right, come on. Come on, deck. All right, we've got a uh, order pad first. Gosh, this deck. Okay, I can't even handle myself. Let's go. We have got to get an energy switch. And, I mean, now we're just, I mean, we're cruising in. Check this out. E switch from here. Yeah, up there. And then also E switch from here to there. And all six. Boom. Erica's. Bring it to me. And we're good to go. Tag bolt GX. I know you're salty. It's okay. Yep. Goodbye, Lycan Rock. Goodbye, Beast. Goodbye, Sledgehammer Turn. I know, Riley. I always think, like, Erica. I'm not used to playing Erica yet, but, like, yes, you technically play Erica first. But, like, I used to, like, I'm used to feeling like Erica's like Lily. Like, I need to thin my hand down first, but I always forget that I need to do that. So, yeah, technically you want to scoop it up. Yeah, that's, that's right. Order on um, getting in there. Gosh, this deck is fuego. Pure pure flames right yeah i know i'm not i'm not used to erica yet i need uh, a little more experience with her but yeah i know you gotta thin down to five cards in hand but i usually just don't stop there i'm like oh yeah let's keep going <laughs> we'll play one more with this and move on to other less exciting decks to be honest i mean that deck had like tons of fighting pokemon in it couldn't do nothing can't stop, won't stop. I know. Oh, thank you, Natalie. And hopefully you're having a wonderful day at work this morning. Going to throw out a couple more PTCGO codes while we're here for anybody who may happen to be on PTCGO yourself. There you go. Hey, there you go. Boom. All right, we got ourselves... A Rom Meister in the active position. Viridian Forest Energy Switch. It's all pretty good. I'm kind of torn between 11 and 12 energy right now. This guy apparently has lots of fighting Pokemon in that deck. Torn between 11 and 12. I kind of want 12, but I have 11. It's fine. You know, I mean, it. we still got a hand with three lightning in the opening hand here. It happens all the time. Yep, another Cynthia. Oh, goodness, this actually seems a little bit sketch. This appears to be just garb, right? Garb and Buzzwell and shrines. Definitely a little sketch. But, you know, I don't know. If we get a turn one full blitz, then shh, nothing sketch about it. 
going to be good to go. Fortunately, we do have a counter stadium here. And I did draw the lily, but unfortunately, this is just not a lily hand. Um, I would be able to lily for what? One, two, three, three? No, thank you. We'll Cynthia and see if we can't find some better looking cards here. Nest ball, order pad. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, anything can happen. We can nest ball for, huh. No, I don't really have it. Not an explosive turn here, it's fine. We're probably looking at like a turn two full blitz, which is cool. I think, to be honest, I kind of just want to get, I could get like Zero Aura and pivot to a Zero Aura right now, so I don't like soak a hit on my Picaram. It's not really what I'm trying to do. Um, but that might like slow me down and make it harder for me to get a turn two. Um, either way, I'm going to need energy switches, so that's probably okay. And I'm not going to order pad yet, so that, you know, he's not doing as much damage to me. So that's fine. <sighs> I could play a weakness policy, but to be honest, I haven't had that much trouble beating fighting decks. Just kind of the way it is. Uh, so as far as like a one of, also fighting decks are not that popular. So like the um, Wishful Baton is good against everything. It's good against lightning decks. It's good against the mirror. It's good against fighting decks. It's literally good against like every single deck because if your opponent just like hits into your wishful baton sacrum, they just probably lost. Yeah. Um, so like if I'm gonna play a one of either weakness policy or wishful baton, the baton is just a better card. I If I want to put a one of in the deck, I agree with Riley 100%. If I wanna put a one of in the deck, I'll probably put a max potion back in. That's kind of what I'm like looking at. And what's up, Lily? Welcome, Lily. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, homeschool this morning. All right. So my opponent's got the turn two trash lanch going on. Yeah, I'm going to be trash lanching for some damage here. Now what I need to do is just skip over the sledgehammer turn. This is exactly what we do in this matchup. You skip over sledgehammer. You know, hey, we got the T-Mountain. Okay, so now we just need an order pad heads. Come on. Honestly, this deck, thank you, thank you deck. Okay, so we go here, and then we're just gonna retreat. For sure, I mean, we don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I do need to retreat, yep. So we're gonna retreat, E-switch, and then I probably will just play this. Uh, I don't wanna power up my opponent's sledgehammer or trash lanch at all. Yeah, so we'll probably just Lily for four. I'm fine with that. Ooh, Let Loose is good. Eric is good. These are all good cards. I'm just full blitzing for knockout to the active. And, yep, full alpha dog here. We're just going, yep, like you ain't got it like that, Chief. We're taking three prizes with this Picaram. And there's nothing you could do to stop it. And I am completely skipping over that Sledgehammer turn. It's just what we're going to do. So, you know, yeah, we're just seeing like these fighting decks just get bodied here. That's why I can't really play the fighting. I can't play a fighting deck in standard format right now. Like why? You know why? If you could just you could just go in with Ryan Reynolds up here in before Gum Choose GX. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if I get Gum Choosed, I'm gonna be so salty. So salty. But it looks like we got like a pretty decent hand going on here. I was a little bit conservative on like, I wasn't gonna burn down my E powers and my energy switch or like anything like that because I just want to, uh, you know, kind of mitigate the amount of damage Trash Lanch is doing. And we got three items in the discard pile right now. So we're ready to full blitz with only three items in the discard pile which is insane, right? Like, Trash Lanch, unfortunately, just a little bit underpowered in this format. I mean, it's just such a good card in Expanded where there's so many turbo decks and things like that. 
Uh, JR Mines, Junior Mines, 12. Would I play this in Denver if I was going? Absolutely. If Denver were this weekend, this is the list I would be playing. Period. So, uh, 100%. Well, I got the Beast Energy. That stings a little bit, but it's all good. So, we are going to be using Sledgehammer here uh, for Knockout. I think we kind of have to bump that Diancy. That feels good. Uh, or not Sledgehammer. We're going to use Tag Bolt. I think taking out the Diancy feels good. That way these Buzzwolves are just like trash from here on out. So let's uh, let's pare this down a little bit. We are going to Mysterious Treasure away probably an Electro Power. Seems fine. That are like the Lele, but like Electro Power seems fine. I actually want to pop an energy into play with this Rayquaza. Um, so that like maybe I can transition into like Tapu Koko. This is like a little bit aggressive. If I hit like three items, that'd be bad. I hit two. Oof, it's fine. Um, and then I guess I could Cynthia and save the Ericus for later. I really wanted to like what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's kind of tough. Okay. My opponent's only got two cards in hand. Hmm. Think we go. Yeah, I'm just going to wonder tag for like a Cynthia. We're just going to go do that. I like, like this hand. Ugh. Now that I'm like looking at it, I probably should have mysterious treasured something else away. Thank you, little crack munchkin. Appreciate it for the sub there, man. Thank you so much. Four months. Appreciate you, dog. All right. We did not find an energy there. It's cool, though. I'm probably going to see so you got one enlightening in the discard pile right now. We're just going to tag bolt. We're knocking out that dude. And then probably also the Dancy. Yeah. Just to like make it so that it's not doing quite as much next turn. Now, it's a little bit sketch. I need to obviously like pivot out of this um, successfully. We're very close to like kind of losing this game. Him hitting the beast energy there was like really rough for me. For sure, for sure. Uh, there's a couple things we could do. Uh, I kind of low-key need to find my Tapu Koko GX to Arrow Trail and kind of bring all this energy together. So that is uh, that is an option. And then we also, I guess, could just go all out and find like uh, find like energy switches and things like that. Wow, dude. He has to Kuzma! Yes! Oh, yes! Um, thank you so much, Brian Scriata, for the four months in a row. Love the channel and the fam. So glad you and Natalie are here for the community. I'm so glad you're here for the community, Brian. Thank you so much for your support, my man. Appreciate it. All right, so this is like I'm in there now. Like, we're cooling now. Uh, we just get to Ultra Ball away probably the Lily and this Picaram here um, for, I could get myself Coco GX. Yeah, it's probably fine. That's like what we're doing here. Just force another, yeah. So we're gonna take this energy off. Yup, we're taking like all two from there. One from there, it's fine. He's coming out. Uh, I can almost Ericus. Now I can Ericus. Okay, I'm gonna Ericus for some cards. Lightning energy, that's good. I can attach that probably to a fresh Picaram is what we want. Uh, because after this thing goes down, I guess after this thing goes down, we could just go in with Zapdos and try to take a knockout that way. Um, which is possible, yeah. But we'll uh, 
we'll like save our bench space. I do want to get an energy attachment down though. So sure, we'll attach to the zero aura and just got head close. Cool. We need to be the most careful about trash -a -lanch. Really, trash -a -lanch is the only thing that can kill us right now. The sledgehammers are donezo, right? So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 160. So they still are not at a knockout yet. I've been very careful to try and keep myself under that, under that one hit KO, but with a choice ban, oh no, what? I was gonna say, if they choice ban that active and they get garb energy, um, garb and energy, they're taking a one hit KO, but they ain't got it like that. So we're good. We are good. All right, 2-0, what, with Picaram? Two different fighting decks. Couldn't get there. All right, sick. Let's move on and play something else. You guys wanna see a game with Donald's Venusaur Genesect deck. I kind of want to see a game with Donald's Venusaur Genesect deck. Dude, let's rock it. Donald Soar, everybody. I'm going to drop a couple more codes into the chat. Donald Soar. Enough winning. It's time to have some fun. Am I right? Let's get it. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Big shout out to the subs this morning. Subs have been lit. Thank you. Also, big shout out to Zach for those bits. Thank you, dog. Appreciate it. I know D Rex, dude. I was I've been watching Dark Integral, man. I love his channel, dude. He is so funny. He's such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. All right, what do we got going on here? Venusaur, double wishful baton, busted card. Nobody's playing field blower. Not anybody. Play Oracorio Parasect. Now I'm not exactly sure what. Or a Choreo Parasect is going to be doing for us here. Free retreat on this thing. That's what I'm talking about. And we've got turn one. Lily going on too. That looks beautiful. Exactly what I want. Playing in Zorark, Lycanroc. Guess what? You're weak to grass. That's right. Digging it. Toss one more code in there. So I think that Picaram. Yeah, it's probably like the BDIF, like, I don't know. I just kind of feel that way, uh, in my opinion. I think, like, it has a better chance against Zorak Lycanroc than Zapdos does. So, like, that's kind of my, like, litmus test, right? Like, I think that all Lightning decks seem, like, just better than, like, every other meta deck, but except for Zorak Lycanroc, and I think Picaram is like the best you can get against Zorak Lycanroc as a lightning deck. And I don't think that you sacrifice like your Zapdos matchup with Picaram that much anymore if you build it right. So, I, like if I were going to Denver, it would be like an easy layup choice for me. I would probably just play Picaram and try to just build the list so that it's more consistent and, you know, and better. Like I just, you just kind of embrace the hate. You're just like, don't matter. You know, I'm going all in here. Uh, let's see, we could Lily for four. I got an unplayable card off the top. Or we Cynthia. I'm kind of into like Lily here. Weird as that is, it guarantees us a supporter next turn too. But yeah, you know, it's fine. All right, we're just going to go that way. Okay, that actually is not bad. So. We'll get a nest ball, get myself, I guess I could get, no, I don't have a, huh, don't have a Bulbasaur down, so we kind of have to get the Bulbasaur, and then as much as I, you know, kind of hate to leave Shame and Prism Star out there, I think we kind of have to leave Shame and Prism Star out there. It's a free retreater. If my opponent goes turn two, Claw Slash, the Shame and Prism Star, like, yikes, homie, but it's fine. We'll uh, hope that we find a way to discard a grass. And if we do, then we can, like, Gaia Blaster with Nagon ADL, Energy Reload, and knock out the Rock Ruff or the Lycan Rock or whatever my opponent decides to do. So that would be pretty dope, honestly. You guys tried this new monster yet? Here we are. 
the new Monster Ultra Paradise. It's very good. We just got them in here at Full Grip Games. They've been uh, excellent. Zero sugar as well. That's what I'm talking about. Got to watch my physique. It's almost springtime. But, yes, the Ultra Paradise. Busted beverage, honestly. Very strong. Very good. Here's a couple more codes in the chat. Only got, like, maybe seven left here. So, going to toss those in. <sighs> Opponent's got the bench filled up. But they... They ain't got it, Chief. They ain't got it. That's what's up. Okay. All right, got to channel my inner Donald to Cynthia into the rare candy Venusaur. Let's go, Donald. Give it to me. Honestly, would you look at this? That's what, like, promise I've never had a stage two deck set up this good myself, but, like, because it's Donald, bro. This is Donald's list. It's magical. All right. Just pure magic. <laughs> pure, pure magic is what this, <laughs> this deck is. Pure magic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Check this out, bro. <laughs> Guy of plastic, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's what I'm saying. Check this out. We can't lose now. We cannot lose. This thing's got 160 hit points. It ain't going nowhere. Like We are not going to lose now. We got Sophocles in the hand. We could discard the grass. So insane. So insane. He's got a Kikui to knock this thing out, too, dude. Oh, man. And if he does knock this out, that baton is just passing the energy right on back. Oh, boy. I know. Riley, he truly does. Uh, he is actually, you got to give it to him uh, because it is not easy to build these decks. Like, it is not easy to make a... I don't want to call them a meme deck, okay? But it is not easy to make these, uh, I guess, non-meta decks. We're going to call them non-meta decks. It is not easy to make these non-meta decks work because he doesn't really have any, like, necessarily framework to go off of. Like, he's just, like, picking these out of his brain, right? And just making it work, just like, like a real G. He's just like, yeah, got it. So, yeah, I think we go and just, uh, honestly, I don't really feel like I need the Oranguru. I would rather keep the Guzma, I think. Um, I could Guzma and just, like, guarantee my, ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's just Guzma up that rock rough, like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, free retreat on the man here. So, yeah, no mercy. And yeah, we're taking this fella out. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and put the Oranguru down, attach the energy here, and sure, We'll instruct for two while we have the ability. Seems pretty sweet. And let's just uh, go take out that rock rough there. We don't want any sort of, uh, we don't want any sort of, no, bloodthirsty eyes, dangerous rogue, none of that. You want to knock out a shining genesect, you're going to have to do that hard mode, sir, with your Professor Kikui or Devoured Field. It's the only way you're getting it. Man. This is insane. If you discard the Banana Master, oh my gosh, he does call this the Banana Master, doesn't he? I saw him on stream yesterday, and he said Banana Master. <laughs> he said Banana Master, and I was like, I was thinking to myself, I was like, what is he talking about? I was like, it's cool though. I don't, you know, I don't need to know, you know, the Banana Master. This is the Banana Master. That's amazing. Oh my god, so good. Dude, shout out to Dark Integral Donald for being the greatest of all time. He is the GOAT. Honestly, man. So good. He's also got like 60,000 subs on his YouTube channel, man. He's just like rocking it. And his skits are hilarious. Everything he does, man. Everything. Amazing. Dude, this Zorak <laughs> deck. Bro, I bet you this, this bro prized like... For DCE, straight up. Um, K Dog, I think we got to just go and Sophocles away, uh, probably. I'm gonna keep the switch just in case something gets like pulled up. It's cool though. 
Charge up. Turn up. <clears throat> okay. So at this point, I got what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, plus 50. I can't get all the energy on this thing. That's unfortunate. I can only get... I had to attach to the... Uh, I had to get an energy to attach here, but I wanted to keep the switch. That was a little bit too conservative, I think. So, it's all good. It's fine. I don't have it. Because, like, 3, 6, 9, or 2, 4, 6, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah. Shame. Oh, Shaman was a KO. Yikes. Okay. So, I messed that one up, guys. It's cool. We're going to guy a blaster. Messed that one up. I forgot about the Shaman. The Shaman could have just done it with Flower Storm. Gosh, that's insane. I always forget about this little guy. You could just go in and Flower Storm for, like, way more damage. Right, right, right. You could attach the... That's the other KO you could do. You could put all the energy on Shining Genesect and KO that way, but you don't really want to give up all your energy that way, so, like, Shaman was the better, because all I only need to do is just toss one energy. You switch into Shaman... All I had to do was uh, Sophocles away the Cynthia instead, but I was just being, like, too conservative there. I really just needed to, like, it, it's cool. I highly doubt that my opponent is going to be able to win this one. I mean, to be honest, I think that, they, <laughs> I think that they're done so. So uh, I did need to uh, be a little bit more careful there, but I am not going to lie. This is, like, my probably second time ever playing this deck, so I'm still, still learning the ways of the Dawn. Okay. Um, I did channel my inner dawn though for the turn two rare candy Venusaur. That's for sure. It's fine. We'll get the Zorak later. He could go ahead and roll that thing up. He ain't knocking out this shining Genesect. That's for sure. Ooh, but he might bring up somebody like the Shaman. I'd be so salty. Please don't take out my Shaman, bro. <laughs> Just don't do that. There's no way this dude's got a DCE yet though. He's like, you you got eight cards left in deck, brother. You ain't got a DCE in that hand. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Dude, I don't think he's got it, though. I know. I don't think he has a DCE. I think he prized all of them. No, there's one right here in the discard pile. And I bet he prized two or three. Finally has the DCE and the Devourer. He's going to knock out my Naginate L. Fine, I guess. I can no longer energy reload. But if I do find... And energy here, I can flower storm. So we're promoting this guy for sure. So we're doing like three, six, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the play. All right. So we're just looking for an energy. The muck out. That's annoying. You're telling me I can't energy reload anymore? Not cool. Uh, I guess at this point, I probably should have just put down. I mean, if I can't energy reload, I probably should have put down somebody else. It's all good, though. Um, let's. And we could Guzma that Lycanroc for a game later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just going to Cynthia. There's the grass. Beautiful. Okay. Play that Ultra Space down. We've got the grass. Um, so what? We're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. It's just so insane. <laughs> We're going to baton this fella too, <laughs> dude. Uh, sure. Well, we're going to go get ourselves the Naginate L out the deck just to thin the deck a little bit. And, yeah, goodbye, sir. That's it. 240 damage with the Shaman, bro. <laughs> That's so nuts. Uh, better late than never, am I right? We got there with the Shaman Prism Star, dude. Flower Storm. Just absolutely wrecking people out here with one energy. It's crazy. I only have four energy in play. It's not like I got, like... A ton, but it's, you know, the Venus Force makes it like I have eight energy in play. We take a second to just appreciate this Venus Force. I don't know how closely you guys have taken a look at this Venus Force, but if we could all just take a moment to look. I mean, listen, Venus Force, I love you. I'm not trying to be judgy, but like, this Venus Force is ugly, dude. <laughs> He's an ugly dude. He's an ugly bug. Zach, thank you so much for those bits. But look at his face. He scooped. He scooped, bro. He scooped. Yes. 
This is Don the Goat's list. Dark Integral Donald. Okay, this is Dark Integral Donald's list. It's on his channel. I played against him. So it's the video where you see a little thumbnail with me in the corner as well. Advertising that he smoke showed me. Let's uh let's show off Pedro Zapdos list a little bit. <laughs> uh, I love the Gen 1 starters. I love Venusaur, okay? But that Venusaur is hit, okay? That is just like an ugly Venusaur. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Pedro just won a special event in Bolzano with his Jolteon Zapdos deck. Now, I don't think that I'm the biggest fan of Zapdos decks anymore. I'm kind of over them. I think that I'm like more on the on the ROM train now, personally. But you can't argue with success, okay? Pedro has been doing very well lately and did win a special event with this list. So we're going to go ahead and try this out for a little bit. And then I also will, what I said, Vika Ray, I did promise some Ray. Can someone tell me what in the world am I looking at? What is this? What is this? What is that? Why? Why is this a thing? An all grass tech? Someone knows Souk? Yes, I would like my six mullies, please. Seems fine. It's not very, not a very good hand yet. Playing against Celebi and Venusaur GX. That is cool. Big Malasada and Looker. Holy moly. That's, uh, that is interesting for sure. Venusaur Parasect. Okay, what does the Parasect do? The more I've been playing my cube, I have uh, some copies of Underground Expedition in the cube that I have, uh, that I, you know, that I built. And I'm just so awkward drawing off the bottom of the deck. I'm just, you know, I'm still not used to it yet. We've got a switch. We've got the nest ball. Okay. I guess, right? That or we just, like, grab a we probably switch for a nest ball and like probably we'll just nest ball for the Jirachi that like seems fine but I don't really have a, like a lot going on in this hand I could get a Jolteon going up pretty quick here we could just evolve into Jolteon retreat yeah I kind of like that play a little bit better yeah because then I can Volkner yeah, yeah, we're doing that. We can get a turn one. Okay, I'm into it. Okay, we can just get the turn one head bolt. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. We're just going to retreat into Jirachi. And I think I Stellar Wish first. We got an Ultra Ball right there. It's pretty dope. And then I can Viridian for, I guess, I could just Viridian away. Probably don't need this Absol, to be honest. Yep, it's cool. And then I can Volkner to get myself another lightning energy and like a nest ball. And just like to get like another Pokemon to throw energy on, which is pretty dope. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Ultra Ball away those two lightnings. Get myself literally whatever. Zara Aura is cool. I think I probably will just get like getting this into my hand is like actually kind of good just to have it. And then I'm probably just gonna like Volkner from here on out. Yeah, I guess the Absol would have gotten rid of the buff padding. Yeah, I should have thought about that before I discarded him. It's all good. Absol, you will be missed. Alright, and there we go. Do your thing, dance your dance. Dance your dance, Coco. You glow. You go, Glen Coco. You go. There we go. Boom. Check that out. That's some pretty hot fire, not going to lie. I mean, I did get six mulligans, okay? I did get six. You know, you got to gotta admit that. We had six mullies here, so this isn't exactly like a, you know, this doesn't happen every time. But that was pretty busted, right? It's pretty good there. Turn one, head bolt, three energy in play. We got the Coco GX in our hand. If he starts 
loading up energy like we're just cooling here potion that ain't it chief double potion all right you got triple potion in there big <laughs> oh okay that's a lot of healing not gonna lie my jirachi is toast this man has 210 hit points left on that Celebi Venusaur. I'm pretty sure I can knock this thing out, though. Like, I'm pretty sure. Just saying. Pretty sure. All right. The Team Mountain is good. We've got Coco GX. Yeah, literally. Uh, and I need to do 210. 210 damage. You're asking a lot there, Chief. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we got it this turn. Hmm. Yeah, we got no nothing. It's cool. Zera Aura can almost do it, right? But I got like no other 160, 190. Oh, that's it. That is it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Math is hard. Very good. It's all good, guys. It's okay. Andrew took a little minute here, do some math, but you know, he's he's got it. He's got it. Okay, very good. Yeah, math is turbo hard. And GD to you, my man. That's going to be it. Hiya! Plasma fists. Goodbye. So that's like a turn two win against a Venusaur deck. That was pretty hot. <laughs> we got there, Dankus. All right, we got there, man. That was a big, that was a big old hand I had to look at. All right, listen. Listen, I'm only halfway through my caffeine. You guys are asking for a lot of mathematics to happen like that, okay? You know, the, ge the gears are going to need to grind, like, a little bit further. <laughs> They're going to have to, you know, we're going to, the gears are getting a little, you know, <laughs> a little jammed. All right, J-Web. Let's see what you got against... The Pedro Zapdos special. Hello to JWeb99. Also a nice smiley face. Oh, Pedro Dos looking, looking hot. <laughs> Let's get it. Ooh, baby. I know. I did not stop at Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Probably going to be my downfall, but it's all cool. It's all good. So, weirdly enough, in this hand, I feel like I just have to get, ugh, this is like pretty horrendous, but I feel like I have to get Zero Aura and <laughs> just do this. <laughs> I feel like this is my play. <laughs> this is so bad. But this is, uh, this is it, right? I mean, that, if I got like the Jirachi, then I'm just sitting here waiting for my opponent to knock it out. Like, and they're playing a Zapdos deck. They'll probably just goose by my Jirachi. So like, at least with this turn one, I can like potentially knock out a Zapdos or a Jirachi myself next turn and maybe pull something off the prizes. That's all I got because our starting hand was atrocious, right? If he knocks out my Zapdos turn one, like Guzma Electro Power, I'm going to be a salty camper. Yup. But it looks like, oh, he's got the dream hand here. Lily for four, switch, Thunderous Assault into my Zorora. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get it popping here. Okay, we're like close to being able to use Coco GX. We're going to retreat, Electro Power, and boom. Got the turn two knockout. There we go. Just like we planned. And there's an Eevee. All right, I can do something with an Eevee here. <laughs> not, <laughs> not really, though. Uh, I got two Jolteon GX in my hand, so I cannot even... I can't even energy evolution here. This is uh, this no bueno. Really just an unfortunate, unfortunate hand. I did see some really bummer 
hands this past weekend at the cup. Like you just get into some hands and you're like, this is really like Lily for seven or eight. And you're just like, there are literally like seven lightning energy in this hand. Or uh, I also got let loose turn one. My round one at the league cup was a mirror match, right? And I go first, I'm like setting up okay, I attach an energy to a Picaram, and I Lily, and I got like an okay hand, it's fine, right? But all I have is one energy on my Picaram, and like a Zara Aura in play. And then my opponent let looses me on their turn one, right? And they let loose me into literally four lightning energy. Four lightning energy. So I draw my hand, top deck for turn, it's an energy switch. I'm like... This is horrible. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I still ended up winning uh, somehow, miraculously. But it was sketch, really sketchy. Oh, this feels bad. I feel like oh, we're cool. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um. I think I just go here. I mean, I could knock it out with Tapu Koko GX. <sighs> but I think I just switch. And then just like knock it out again. Retreat here. Probably attach here. Yeah, I don't I don't need to search. I ain't playing. Alright, Thunder Salt. Boom! Oh, get it, Natalie. That's what I'm talking about. We've got a Cynthia. Busted deck. I know. I know Natalie has been busy working hard on school. She is finishing up her final semester here. Thank you, Super Gassy, for the tier one sub. Everybody send Super Gassy some busted emotes. In the chat, thank you, Super Gassy, for the support and for joining us here. Their new gym membership. All right, they got Valkner and get themselves a lightning and a rope. That's a little bit sketch. Oh, now here's the real question: Do I serve them up my only EV, or do I serve them up my Zera Aura? Gosh, for two prizes. Here's the deal. That Zara Aura is going down either way. I feel like having the Jolteon will just be better for me in the long run. So, like, I guess you can have this. Doesn't feel good, but I need this dude to win the game, I think. I don't think I win without the, the Jolteon. Let's go. Well, thank you guys for blessing our... Our sub super gassy with those busted emotes. All right, here we go. Here is our EV. We've got Guzma. I feel like Guzma into the Jirachi is actually like very good right now. So, huh? That or I could just go Cynthia and say, you know what? Knock out the active potentially. Huh? I kind of like Guzma the Jirachi. We're going to like put some pressure on and just see if like maybe he misses the attack. Uh, because it's not the easiest, you know, to pivot out of this situation. Being like a Zapdos player, like I know that this is like kind of your nightmare right here. You hate this scenario. No bench Pokemon. Gotta promote the Zapdos. Feels horrible. He's got a big hand though, so that it is definitely possible that he could play out of this hand, but judging by that, I'm thinking that he probably could not. Uh, okay, so he's just gonna retreat and then hit into my Jolteon. Oof, for like 110. And Lily's for one. What is in that hand, sir? Seems kind of rough. It's cool though. Uh, at this point, I can uh, I can maybe swift run, which would be kind of good. Huh? There's the lightning. I need to do it. So that's cool. Yeah. If we just Cynthia here, 
Swift Run GX with my Jolteon. Um, he might, I may actually be able to get away with like, that's probably too risky. But I think like if I Swift Run, I could Swift Run next turn because I can just retreat in Electro Power here. That's like a bold move, but I don't think he has anything in this hand. He would need energy. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm going all in. I'm saying he ain't got it like that. He ain't got it like that, Chief. Call on your bluff. You don't have it. I'll swift run next turn. Because I think, like, if I swift run, my, my thing is here, if I swift run, I think that, Oh, if he just has this, that's horrible. If he swift runs me, then that's just like actually horrendous. I guess I like, I thought that he wasn't gonna be able to get an attack going anyway. So like, I didn't trust that he was gonna be able to launch an attack. So then I was saying like, my swift run's gonna be wasted because like, he's not gonna get an attack anyway. So if I don't think he's gonna attack, then why am I gonna swift run? Just in case he attacks. So, I guess. That's kind of where I'm at. So, it's like, uh, I don't know. I didn't think he was going to be, like, by promoting the Tapu Koko, I, he lilied for one last turn. I think, like, now if I swift run this turn, I, like, can't lose. Which is pretty good unless he like if he can swift run the zapdos for knockout like that's pretty bad right so yeah he's gonna swift run me so it's not great yeah probably should have swift run Ooh, but he might swift run he might let loose me into a guzma here which would be nutso okay Hopefully he does not see the, <sighs> how many escape rope does this deck play? At least plays like a couple. I would like the rope this turn for sure. This hand is not bad. I'm assuming that was swift run, right? 110, yes, feels like swift run GX. I guess I could check the log, right? Let's see, what did he use? Yeah, yeah, and use swift run GX, very good. Okay, so we have got ourselves some things here. I mean, obviously, if I retreat into Jirachi and don't find anything, like, that's, like, super bad. So let's see what we got. Oh, I can always let loose as well. Okay, I'm into it. We're just going to get another Jirachi. Sure. Love the let loose in this list. Let's just get it popping here. Stellar wish. Skateboard. It's not going to do it. Huh. Nothing. Okay. All right. I'm not trying to lose this game, bro. So we need to find... We need to find some sauce here. Okay, we're going to go... Ultra Ball these cards away. We need to get the Let Loose for surely. I mean, I could go, I could have gone in and just like Tapu Koko GX'd it. So like that actually could end up, <laughs> that could be bad if I didn't do that. I mean, that is an option here. This route may end up just losing me the game, but sure, we'll see. Riley may be right, but we're gonna say, Never punished, okay. Never, ever, ever punished, guys. And now we get to do what we wanted. Yes, we're gonna Guzma up this guy. And Swift Run GX, there we go. I don't think that there's any, yeah, that's probably fine. Yep, Swift Run, King Pizza, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, I made that very close. I was bargaining that the guy would not get that. I actually didn't even know that he, yeah, I didn't realize the Nihilego was an option. I should have looked a little closer and realized that he was playing rainbows. 
I didn't see the Nia Lego Swift run happening, but that was pretty sick. Thank you, King Pizza, everybody, for that subscription. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your host of new emotes like the Shmoney Trode. Busted. We've got ourselves an Eevee over here. He's already GX'd the Shrine. I've got Viridian in my hand and can retreat anybody on my bench. His best play is to promote a GX Pokemon and hope that I have no way around it. Or just promote a Pokemon with more than 110 hit points. Really. Yeah. But if he ain't got it like that, he ain't got it like that. And it's going to be GG's. All right. Getting there. 2 0 with Pedro's Zapdos deck. Sick. All right. Let's play some Vicaray. Y'all ready for this? Let me drop a couple more codes into the chat. Let's get it. Boom. And then, going to rock. Rock the Ray. I was on tear last night with Pad Rom or Order Rom or Pika Pads, whatever. And then I just got my run just halted by a Vika Ray deck. Bro, just Vika Ray. I couldn't believe it. I can't, I don't think that Vika Ray is good. Okay. Uh, I think that Vika Ray just has got to lose to Zapdos. It's got to. There's no way that Vika Ray could beat Zapdos. He's only got 180 hit points. That deck should just get bodied by Zapdos. But alas, I did have my streak ended by a Vika Ray playing, uh, playing uh, Picaron last night. So, I don't know. I'm going to run another game with Vika you know, Vika Ray and just see how it feels. And if it's good, it's good. I don't know. The deck, I mean, we're going to beat things like Zorark decks most of the time. We're going to beat things like probably Pikaram. At least some of the time we're going to beat Pikaram. So my biggest problem with Vika Ray as a deck right now, we're going second. Alrighty then. My biggest problem with Vika Ray as a deck right now is Let Loose. Like, Let Loose should be played in almost every single deck, and your Tempest GX just gets ruined by Let Loose, right? Absolutely ruined by it. So you just have to get kind of lucky. But there is something to be said for playing against a Zorak deck, and they just, you know they ain't got no way to knock out your Rayquaza. You're just like, this is nice. <laughs> All right? And then they play the Viridian Forest for you, and you're like, Nice, yeah. Because then you play Lysander Labs, and then their tools don't work. It's very good. You built Ray Manetric and got eight wins in a row. It's crazy. Did you choose to go second every time and hope you started the Manetric? That'd be pretty boss. Pokecom. Okay, coming down. They're getting a pretty good start here. Riolu in the active. I feel like a lot of the Zorak decks that I've seen lately have been cutting the Lucario line all together and are opting for just kind of straight, more consistent Lycanroc. Okay, so I actually just go for Lily here. Yeah, it's exactly what we do. Okay, sure. Mysterious treasure away that here. And we're going for a turn one Lily because we've got the sauce in our hand already. So all I need to do, um, yeah, I'd like a supporter card. Thanks. Want Trilly. And then to be honest, yeah, just gonna pare this down even more. Get myself a grass. Put the labs. And then here we go. Perfect start. Got an Ultra Ball, Zorora. I don't actually want to bench any more Pokemon right now, but I kind of need to put down another Grubbin if I can. So we're looking at like ditching 
probably the Guzma and that lightning energy. It's probably actually the Guzma. We could probably get rid of the Zara Aura. Yeah. I mean, I don't have like a backup. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Guzma and the lightning energy. Fine. Cool. And get ourselves another grub in just in case my opponent starts feeling swifty with that lichen rock over there. And yeah, no reason to tempest. We're just going to pass. So next turn, we're looking like we got a pretty explosive turn coming up. I can rare candy into Vika Volt. I can put the Coco Prism down as well. And then Cynthia, we should get a ton of energy in play which is very good, but here is the moment in the game that makes me nervous. Like, we've got a perfectly stacked hand for turn two. Oh, but we could just get let loose into oblivion and then just lose. That being said, with Tapu Koko Prism Star and Zara Aura, we do have some outs to... Yep, told you. It's going down. We do have some outs to get like energy into play without uh, without Vika Volt, right? But the Vika Volt's so insane. I'm like, yeah, Naganadel might be a little easier to get into play, but the Vika Volt is just so much more explosive. If you get the Vika Volt into play, a lot of times you just win the game, which is insane, right? So it feels bad either way. Uh, I tried the Ray Nag for a while. I guess, like, I haven't tried it since Coco Prism Star came out. I'll admit that. But it's just so strong. The Vika Volt, I mean, you get to these points where you just, yeah, my opponent whiffed the energy there and just conceded. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. Dude, we're on a win streak again today. Let's get it, chat. We're at seven. Yesterday I went to eight. So let's keep it rocking here. And we've been mixing up our decks a lot more. So, you know, we're we're flirting with danger here. Going in with Vika Ray with a seven win streak. We could easily just get halted, but I'm feeling it. I'm believing in the Ray. I got my Believe hat on. For sure, for sure. <laughs> you Morgan for one energy and then Tempest for seven. Yeah, no, I can't play the hat ladies. The hat ladies are just they're too temperamental, man. They are way too temperamental. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right. Now this is a streak losing hand. That's for sure. Hello in Maru. I guess not necessarily. We do have Rare Candy Vika Volt in our hand, but, you know, if they do anything to us, it's going to be bad news. I guess, I mean, I do have a turn two Plasma Fliss, Plasma Fliss, Plasma Fists in this hand, and I am going first, so that's, that's kind of sick. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ball's in your court, champ. I actually don't have a turn two Plasma Fist, because I need two Lightning, and I ain't got it like that, so... <laughs> that's, uh... Hey. Coco GX, we've got Jolteon in the mix. Okay. I can beat this deck, just give me a draw card. Just top deck Cynthia. Let's get it. I got a Lily for like five. It's pretty good. But can they move this Coco out the active? They'll probably hit a switch or an escape rope. If they hit an escape rope, I'm going to feel really, really bad. Okay, I'm not trying to get this my grub boy knocked out. He needs to stay for sure, for sure. I think if we lose with Vika Ray like this, we're just deleting the deck. He's giving me the angry face. I think I'm going to give him the smiley face back because uh, I hope he doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, you guys are seeing this, right? Like, give me the Cynthia. There's the Cynthia. I'm just saying. That was uh, that was pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Peek of all. 
We need to keep the street rocking. Plasma Fists is like not really going to do it for me. Like I'm not even trying to Plasma Fists at all right now. So I'm just going to save the... <sighs> okay. This is fine. This is like totally fine. We can fan club next turn. Who needs to do anything good when you can just fan club next turn? All right. I think... Yeah, well, I definitely am putting that down. And I'm going to put that there. And then we're just going to strong charge. Probably for like two energies here. I guess I could hit it with Plasma Fist. It just doesn't feel like there's any point in like, yeah, no, I'm not going to hit it with Plasma, fl plasma Fist. All right. Yep, pass. Because, like, putting three energy on my active just feels a little too risky. But, yes, the turn three fan club going to be pretty hot, okay? Pretty hot. Now, this is an ideal board for me playing against a Zapdos deck. We want many GXs. We, In fact, we need this. We cannot win unless they bench many GXs for us. Because if they keep it to Zapdos only, like imagine if this Zorora had just been like crack turn one for like 110 by Zapdos. Then we'd like definitely lose the game. But now we've stabilized to the point where we're going to start taking one hit KOs next turn. Now it wasn't this turn, but next turn. I think you don't necessarily need Zorora in this deck, but why not? I don't know. It's kind of sweet. Ooh, we can, we can go in with Shaven, bro. Let's go. All right, we're going to go here, and we need a Ray. Okay. Let loose and Ray. It seems good. So I think I just go in with Shaman and just, like, end this man, right? <laughs> with a Shaman Prism Star. Um, yeah, probably. We're doing, what, like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to... Just end him with this this thing here. Yep. Stormy Wands. Sad. We didn't get it. All right, let's strong charge. Grass and lightning. I'd like to put my grass energy there. Lightning energy there, please. And let's let him loose. Feeling pretty good about this. Oh, Lysander Labs. Okay. I think no tools is probably where we want to keep this. Also, this Coco is like probably my opponent's like best card against my deck, right? Because I just load up with tons of energy. And he can't even use his Coco right now. Like he just needs to get a rescue stretcher in order to play it. Granted, the Zapdos deck does play a couple of rescue stretchers, so he could find it. But Taking it out the equation feels real good. Having Guzma in hand also feels real good. But I need, oof. No, I could I could do that. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, no, I need to just strong charge for the energy. Back in hand, that's what's up. Got the Guzma back, guys. So I can just strong charge onto Ray Ray and just nuke that Jolteon. Go down to two prizes would be amazing. Nah, they're just going to Thunderous Assault. Okay. Word. And now if they, like, go in with a GX against me, they're just going to lose. So that's that's what it's going to be because I'm going to take out this GX here and then force them to have to stay pure Zapdos for the rest of the game. Gosh, that hand is massive, though. A little bit scary. I know, guys. Pour one out for Shaman. He did a good job. Very proud of him. All right, I think I got I got two more energy left in the deck, right? Yeah, okay, 2-1. I forgot, that's like the primary thing you do when you're playing Rayquaza, is like you need to be like very hyper aware of how many energy are left in the deck all the time. Not really used to that, but it's cool. Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, yep. For surely, that guy getting nuked. Yeah, we'll attach an energy to Zorora, sure. 
And I'm just going to save this hand for later. Dragon Break. 240 damage, two prize cards. We got a Ray and a Stretcher. That's actually very good for us. I got the Ray. If this thing goes down, we can rescue Stretcher. That would be cool. Also got the Energy Recycler in my hand, so if it does go down, I can put the five energy back into the deck. If at this point my opponent decides to go and, you know, I don't know, knock out my Vika Volt, that just would be very bad. Yeah, I think we're cool here. I think ideally I would only want one Zero Aura and like four Rayquaza GX, but I only have three right now. <laughs> I only have three rays because I traded one away. So we just out here housing with Vika Ray. And remember how bad our start was? Didn't matter, did it? That's kind of crazy. Now, I'm not like, you know, I think my opponent could probably drop the hotness on me this turn. They could do it. Like they could go choice band triple electro power with a hand that big. Two Jirachis. I feel like they could do it. Thunder Mountain. Okay. Dude, just wait till I Electro Cannon you for three energy, bro. Just wait. You're going to be Salty Camper. In fact, I could Electro Cannon you with three Grass Energy because my Lightning wouldn't even be required. Then you'd be feeling bad. You'd be sick. Take it easy, Storm Blessed. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a great day at work. All right, so he's stellar wishing. He's, he's trying to cook up a plan over here. I just need two more turns, really. All I need to do, take a knockout, take another knockout. But, oh, with the Zara Aura in play. Now I can just win this turn. Because I could just go get Guzma out the deck with my Tapu Lele and end it. Uh, that's actually only a play. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just that's just what I got. I will do that. But potentially he's getting a knockout with his Zero Aura GX, in which case I can very easily respond to that with my own Rayquaza in my hand and Strong Charge. What's up, Pedro? In the chat, everybody. Hey, Pedro. Everybody in the chat, tell Pedro... Congrats on his special event win. All right, send Pedro some love in the chat, everybody. I just uh, got done playing a couple games with your list, Pedro. So, awesome stuff. Well done. You're an inspiration to us all, my man. Very cool stuff. Hopefully you're uh, resting up and recovering from all that traveling and tournament playing and having a good one all right so they just like served me up the win there really was uh unfortunate they had to go in with their zero or there to take a knockout on my ray they just didn't have it otherwise so we can just uh yeah we'll just discard Ooh, wow we ripped two guzmas there it's kind of crazy it's cool doesn't actually matter Throw those back into the deck. Strong charge. And then we should be doing it. Yeah, 369, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. GG's, mate. That's it. And Vigare in 2019. Still just clapping decks out here. Can't actually believe it. So crazy, right? Vicare can still compete. I can't actually even comprehend that Vicare is still doing it. All right. Order pad time, dude. I've been itching. All right, I had two games with Order Rom here at the start of the stream. We've got eight wins under our belt. I'm trying to take it all the way to 10. So we're going to see if Order Rom can get us there. We've mixed things up quite a bit today. Uh, we had, we played Pedro's list. We played Order Rom, we played, uh, we played Donald's Venusaur deck. We played 
Uh, Vicare twice. All right, looks like we're playing against a dragon fighting deck. All right, half card. Let's see what you got going on. I feel like streaks have been pretty hot lately. Last two days. Getting to eight. <laughs> Legend has it that Pedro does not pair against Zorik. Well, nah, bro. He didn't need to play against that. Just clapping people with Jolteon. All right. That would have been a pretty decent hand, but the Electro Powers don't really want to waste those. All right. We'll rock with this. Got the ROM in the active. Would like to top deck an Ultra Ball or Mysterious Treasure here just so I can use the Ray turn one. But, nah. We could go just all in with that Cynthia or with the Let Loose. I'm not really feeling that. I'm just going to burn this power here since it looks like I'm playing against maybe a Zapdos deck with fighting stuff in it. Order up. Let's go. Hey, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we can Ultra Ball probably for another Pokemon and let loose. My opponent turn one. Feels very good. Yep. Yep, that's what we got. So we're going to Ultra Ball away probably these guys. This is like a little bit aggressive of me. I'm being a little bit aggressive on my resources here. Sarah Aura. Sure. Probably the Zara Aura. Nest Ball for the Coco. Prism Star. If he was in here, it's looking like we're going to have to use Ray instead. It's cool. I'll get Zapdos. No worries. You know, I might just go in with the turn two Zapdos here. And go like that. So that's a pretty decent turn one, honestly. I think just retreating. Huh. Do I retreat? I don't, like, love the idea of just getting smacked turn one by a Zapdos or anything. So I might just decide to protect this Picaram with, you know, by going into Marshadow. Just, like, assuming that my opponent can get a turn one attack. If they don't get a turn one attack, I'm in a great spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do this because, yeah, I mean, they're playing Zapdos. So they might just get the turn one knockout on my Marshadow, which is cool. Viridian helps. I also don't have my Coco Prism Star. So, you know, I need to kind of proceed with caution here. The odds of me getting a turn two full blitz are a little bit lower because I have to rely on getting the ray out. So I have to find an Ultra Ball or my Mysterious Treasure to get the ray energy switch up. That or I need to find my, um, need to find my Viridian, not my Viridian, you know, the T-Mountain. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got a hankering and the only cure is more let loose. Thank you, Doge, for the host. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pedro says, what is, what is Zorark? Good question. All right, it appears as if I was completely off base here and I'm actually playing against a Malamar deck. I had no idea. I just saw, like, the, the metal and the fighting I feel like I saw a lightning, but I guess not. I guess I probably saw psychic and fighting. But that does cue me into the fact that they probably play a Marshadow GX in here. So I do need to be careful. Fortunately, I do have the turn two Zapdos in my hand. All I have to do is Viridian for an energy. And then um, just energy switch that back to Zapdos. And I can get that. All right, here we go. So we got some gas. Let's uh, let's go here. I don't want to burn any more. Man, I don't want to burn any more. We're getting rid of those. Or it's fine. 
It's a little bit of a bold move, like, but one Zora is all you really need. Energy switch up. And then I'm saving the rest of my Electro Powers. We need to keep those in play. Who would have known? Oh, that I just got it. Ugh. Okay. Is my other Let Loose in the deck? I've already retreated. Ah, it's fine. We got it next turn. Next turn. Okay, we're, we're going to full blitz next turn. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything silly. We're just gonna stay the course. It's a really good hand. So we've got Ultra Balls, Thunder Mountains. I just need another energy. So it's not worth it to counter the stadium yet because I want to keep the Viridian so that I can search out a lightning energy next turn, put the Thunder Mountain in play, and then like nuke something on No, please. Ah, half card. Why you gotta do me like that, bro? This hand was the gas. It's cool. We got some stuff of our own. And we got that baton. Baton time. Super hilarious card in this deck. Just allows us to, like, go all in, just be super reckless with Pika Ram, right? Like we could just, the first Pika Ram can just be so reckless getting in there and just like full blitz. Like, I don't care if you play Tapu Koko GX. I don't care if you play a Marshadow GX. If you knock out a Pika Ram with a Wishful Baton on it and that energy gets passed to another Pika Ram, like whoever you brought up to counter my dude is just like getting smoke showed. So let's see here. They may have to get a Lele in play. It looks like they're going for Ultra Ball here in order to get a draw supporter out of this Let Loose that they gave themselves. That would be really good for me. Them putting Lele down just like gives me an out to a four prize turn later in the game. So that's something we really want. He's also got no Malamars in play yet. Guys, I am freezing. I got to put this jacket back on. I ain't going to lie. I'm like... It is a refrigerator in here. Oh my gosh. Woo. Yeah, that's better. Now he's going to scoop it up. All right, we're on to nine. Let's go. Hate it when I prize my Lele and I Ultra Ball for Lele. Hate when that happens. Let's get it, chat. Win streak of nine. Pika pads. Time to rock. Going for 10. All right, chat, send me send me your your best luck emote for a 10th win. We need it now. It's been a little while since I've gotten a 10 win streak on stream, so that would be nice. For sure. And we're trusting Pikachu order pad to get us there. I think we got it. I don't know. Haven't seen anything that was uh too scary. So far today, looks like we're playing against the Zapdos deck. Could end it for us. Bait Loesch. You stand between me and the 10th win, Bait Loesch. And I'm going first. Let's get it. That's a playable hand. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going first. Come on, chat. Come on. We got a big old Lily. Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, exactly what we want. This deck is flames, man. The turn one Lily is just so nuts. I mean, every single deck wants to just go for a turn one Lily. So rad. Getting like huge draws. All right. We're going to go in Ultra Ball away, probably. Huh. Yep. Those guys get ourselves a Pika Rom. Probably okay, yep. And we're just gonna go here, nest ball for the Coco. Play that electro power and just Lily for seven. 27 minutes to maintenance, that's cool. It's about how long I got until I gotta start working, so we're cooling out here. All right, 
we actually did not get a turn one energy attachment that really grinds my gears, guys. That, see, that annoys me. All right. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to need a turn one attachment, fellas. I ain't, I ain't feeling this. Huh. Do I go all in for the turn one attachment with the... No, I don't think I actually do. I think I probably chill my jets a little bit. I mean, if I let loose turn one, they've just got Jirachi. They'll pull out of that let loose. I might not, though. So... Okay. That's fine. Just gonna pass. No, I don't play Jirachi in this list. This is just like Turbo Rom, dude. Turbo Rom with order pads, Pat. That's what we got. My one beef with the list is that I got only 11 Lightning in here. So that is like the sketchiest thing. Now turn one, you know, they might just hit into my Zero Aura here. If they do that, it's cool. Hopefully they put down like a Viridian for me. That would just be, that'd be good. I would definitely like that. I probably got a Lily for like six. That's very strong. We got Jirachi. They're just looking for like Zapdos really and just want to like smack into my Zero Aura. <sighs> That's kind of like an ideal situation for me, though, is they hit into Zero Aura, and then I can either pivot to Zapdos or a Pika Ram. I feel like early full blitz is, like, super good uh, against Zapdos and just try to catch them off guard so that they can't get, like, the turn two um, Coco GX. A lot of times they can't, and they kind of struggle to get that going on. So if you just go pure hyper-aggression versus them, also, you can like Wishful Baton, like I said before, if you Wishful Baton against Zapdos, that's like really good too, because if they Coco GX you. This actually looks like a Picaram deck. Okay, they play Energy Switch, so that's good to know. This is not a pure Zapdos deck. This is Picaram. Okay. And they might just miss the attack here if they ain't got a switch. Oh, they do. Okay. That's cool. Hmm. Ultra Ball doesn't really help in this hand either. I'm like not trying to bring up the Jirachi and like blow up my Coco and not attach this turn. That all feels horrendous. So I'm not going to do that. But I will Electro Power and we're just going to Cynthia. I need an Lightning Energy. Like, I, oh my gosh, this is insane. How many did I prize, my dude? How many did I prize? Okay. I mean, I've got a way to do this. It's just ugly as what? Oh, that's so ugly. If I get the ray... I mean, I can do it that way. Order pad can also get me. I mean, I just have not seen any energy so far. Like, this is obscene. Okay. So. Yes, but I don't have two lightning down. So. How many Guzmas do I have down? No Guzmas down? Okay. We need to go... Actually, kind of okay with ditching a Zero Aura here. I could ditch a peek around. Probably don't need a third peek around. Who needs a third peek around? Okay. How many Lightning are in my deck? Okay, I prized... Oh my gosh, I prized three or four Lightning. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so with seven lightning in deck, I think that this is what I'm doing. 
But then the question is, do I blow up the cocoa first? If I blow up the cocoa, I get a lightning onto my Zapdos to knock out his Zapdos. Huh. Or I could just let loose and hope for a single lightning. Um, but then if I ray, then I'm stuck. If I ray and I miss, then I'm stuck. So I feel like I'm better off just like, yeah, we're actually just going to, I'm I'm just going to let loose. Okay. And we ain't got it, Chief. So that's fine. Tough, man. I prized so many lightning energy. I prized like three, literally half of my, half of my deck is, or half of my prizes are lightning energy. That's fine. I don't really think I can afford to, um, because like if I went for the ray, right, and the ray would have like, the ray would have sucked the lightning out of the discard pile, but it would have discarded three cards out of my deck. So like if the ray did not discard a lightning energy, then I would have just had, I would not have been able to move the Coco Prism Star off my bench and I would have been stuck there and not able to let loose. So that's why I didn't do the ray play. Because I like looked at my deck and realized that I actually only had like a couple of, I only had seven lightning in there. So that's so bad. So this is going to be it, guys. Bat Loesh, you're just going to stop me in my tracks because of my lack of lightning energy. Feels bad, man. Ugh, feels bad. That zero aura is just going down, dude. Okay. Like, we need everything to go right this next turn. Everything. Right. Granted, they actually kind of have zero cards in hand. They only have two. Okay. I mean, we need to just find a, a lightning energy off this Cynthia, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. My gosh, Viridian Forest, please have mercy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I kind of need to go in with my own Zapdos here. That feels kind of bad. That. Yeah, we got to play that E-Power for sure. Oh, I don't even have the Zero Aura out anymore because it... Oh, ready then. Yep, let's go. Okay. I missed an attack. This is so bad, guys. Oh, my gosh. Nothing going on. I don't have two lightning in the discard pile. Oh, I should have... I guess I should have... Cynthia at first before I Viridian. I just forgot that I didn't have the Zero Aura in play still. This is so brutal. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever drawn this bad with this deck. I mean, we're not going to full blitz until turn infinity right now. Like, turn literally infinite. He's just like beating me up, dude. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the escape rope. I'll actually take that any day. <laughs> um, I think I just, yeah, I'm going to promote that Zapdos. He seems like the toughest to knock out. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Bro, this is so insane, man. Why is the 10th win got to be so hard? <laughs> oh, God. They got Zapdos Army out there. They've already taken two prizes with Zapdos. Could be a third. Whew. It's all good. It's fine. Don't prize three lightning energy, guys. Just don't. Don't do it. Really tough. Turns out playing Picaron with only eight lightning in deck is like very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. So don't ever try that at home. Somehow, some way, we were just given a gift here and we're looking like we got a way out of this one. So, all right. I could Lele for Guzma. We could Guzma knock out the Tapu Koko GX. That's something we could do. Um, because I've got Viridian Forest here. So we could just finally get a second second lightning energy into the discard pile. I only got three lightning in my deck, which is kind of horrendous. We got Guzma's in deck. Okay. So that's fine. 
Not really taking a clutch knockout unless it's on this thing though. So that's fine. 180, I don't have the electro power, so we just gotta go. Uh, yeah, we got two in the discard pile, right? Yes, we do. Dance of the Enchants. All right, go get him, Tiger. And then we got to Lele. Yeah. And give me that Guzma. What's up, Turbo Darkness? Okay, it's looking like now is your time. Um, yeah, no amount of energy switches, yep, are going to get me, you know, out of this one. I mean, if he goes and Tapu Koko GXs me, you already, you got it, Chief, you know? You Tapu Koko GX me, brother, then that just is what it is, dude. That's a lightning, guaranteed. You up? <laughs> so, it's cool. At this point, we have, you know, like... I can't play around it. Even with four energy in play, he had a pretty decent shot of Tapu Koko GXing me. So we just have to kind of walk into it and say, you know, I hope you ain't got it, Chief. And if you do, then I think he would, yeah, he's got Ultra Ball here. So he's got to have it. I have to accelerate because if he knocks me out with Tapu Koko GX and I didn't put any lightnings into play, then I for sure lose. Like, we are toast. So at least now we get a chance to tag bolt. Um, and we have to tag bolt. Honestly, if I like, ugh, I can't top deck Guzma. Oh, he's got this one. Okay, it's fine. Just gonna knock out the one with the choice band. And the fourth energy. That's tough. So he's going to go down to one prize remaining. That's like really, really bad, guys. And that's going to be the end of the run. The prize too many energy. I hate when I prize my prizes. Got to play at 12th energy, probably. Yeah, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, let's see if we can whoop up here. I'm feeling like it's going to be nada, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, sure. Three energy switches in hand. None of them matter. Uh, order pad. Eh, well, see we hit. Hey, it hits. Okay. So. I think I go. I have to, like, let loose this dude. Like, kind of. That kind of feels like the situation here. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball away. These. Probably these. Got to let loose. Make your hand smaller. Got to knock you out. That's for sure. Okay. Well, let's go. Gonna feel real bad if I don't I got order pad. So I can't actually bring up enough energy. Well no. I'd have to like Yeah, let's just Cynthia here. Okay. Now I've got the tag bolt. That's pretty good. Okay. So we can go here. Get Ray. There you are. Y'all. Yeah. Do it, Ray. You go, Ray. Do your thing. And, yep, yeah, select a basic energy card there. And you want to move it there. Very good. And this is it. A tag bolt GX. And also hit that Jirachi. So, uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. We just are very close to having game here. If he ain't got Guzma in that hand. If he got Guzma in the hand, he's going to Guzma and attack a Marshadow for free. But, you know, 
all things considered, we did pretty good, right? The Rayquaza is nuts. Let Loose is nuts. Everything is like, you know, the deck's good. Just sometimes you get highly unlikely, right? Or highly unlucky. So let's see what he's got. One prize remaining to my two. I don't actually have an easy way to do 190 damage. I just don't. He's got Volkner. So he would have to Volkner for a switch, I guess. Escape rope. Oh, we're going offline in 10 minutes. This is probably my last game. He's got escape rope and a lightning. I have got to give him the Lele, I guess. It's the only thing I can retreat for free because I'm bench locked without a Zero Aura in play. So I have to give him that. Choice ban. No! 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 Oh, I could have promoted the Ray. I had Guzma. Oh my gosh. No, I could have put the Ray out. Oh my gosh, guys, no. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, that was insane. Very close. I was thinking that, I was thinking I, I, yeah, I forgot I had the Guzma in my hand. I could have put the Ray out, which was like slightly harder to KO. But anyways, that was a good game. Prizing three lightning energy, super, super tough. So it's all good. I think that deck is very strong. I love it. Uh, you know, it's definitely my favorite deck in format right now. And I would just play that deck in any sort of like, you know, cup, regional, whatever I went to, like no second guessing. It's just like definitely a powerhouse. So um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Looks like servers are going to be going offline here momentarily, but hopefully you guys are all having a great day at work, school, at home, whatever you're doing today. Hopefully you guys are all rocking it and having a good one. Thank you all for watching the stream. Big shout out to the mods. Thank you, Natalie, for modding while at work today. And also, Riley, thank you guys so much. Make sure to follow them on Twitter, at Munner and at Natakazam. Also, myself, at EnjoyFriend, E-N-J-O-Y Friend. Big shout out to the subs as well. Thank you for subbing to the channel, supporting me here at Tricky Gym, and also to everybody who supports the shop at Full Grip Games. If you haven't checked out FullGripGames.com, please make sure to do so. Uh, we sell codes, uh, singles, all that stuff, and is uh, you know the best place online to get your cards because you help support me and help me keep my job. Thank you so much, Zach, for those bits. Thank you so much for joining us, Zach. Stay warm up there in polar bear country. Thank you so much, my dude. And big shout out to Pedro again for winning the special event. Thank you for joining us here today, Pedro, as well. Uh, thank you guys for the bits, the follows. Take it easy. Peace.